Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today for another video. So recently we've been looking at PMR446 and we successfully kickstarted the 8 at 8 Sunday Night Net, which has gone down a storm. So in today's video, we'll be looking at the second in a series of PMR446 models on the channel, and this one is the CPS CP226. This is another really cool looking PMR handset that's only just come onto the market. And I recently reviewed the CP228 from CPS and it's a great performer. So if you've not watched that video, it's on the screen now and also at the end of this one. As you can see, it's a tiny little handset, smaller than a pack of playing cards and has a rubberized rim all the way around. This is because the radio is waterproof. The battery compartment on the back is screwed down to protect it from water ingestion and the earpiece cover is also rubberized but needs to be kept closed around water. It has a large speaker on the front as well as up and down buttons and a menu button on the side just below the PTT and on the top is the power button. The screen is a small LCD which is quite bright, it's hard to tell against my studio lights but it does the job perfectly. You can see we've got the fixed antenna on the top because this is a dedicated and legal PMR446 radio. On the back we have the sealed battery compartment for the built-in lithium iron battery and a slot for the belt clip and underneath are the battery contacts for dropping into the mains and USB charging base. The functions are really easy to navigate using the buttons, the volume is turned up and down using the arrow buttons on the front. If we press function and the up arrow we can activate keypad lock and function and the down arrow enters the menu list where we can cycle through the options for CTCSS and DCS tones, scan activate and power level. Now I couldn't find anywhere what the two power levels are but high is 0.5 watts. Now I got the EM28 earpiece microphone to go with my handsets. The earpiece is a good quality one with nice audio and a good solid PTT switch and lapel clip and the plug matches the jack on the radio. So let's go out and see how well it performs on the air. We made a contact with Howard on Halkin on the CP228 and today's location again is Werneth Low and I thought I'd show you the newer transmitter site just a bit further up from the old XPi site we saw in the last video. I also wanted to show you the mysteriously named telephone box again that I have covered in previous videos. It was due to be removed but a petition managed to save it along with its strange nameplate. <laughs> Okay, on frequency, Howard. Yeah, mate, but I had a feeling this might happen as soon as people started hearing your voice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is there a few on? Well, I tend to get the lads from Liverpool, um, but obviously you'll get the lads from Manchester and that, that area. But uh, it's been quiet for me tonight, to be honest. There's only you who've been chatting to. Oh, and I've been talking to uh, uh, Peter up in Bolton as well. Yeah, no worries. I'm on an even smaller radio now. Uh, this is this is for another video. This is another little CPS one. It's tiny, smaller than a, like a pack of playing cards, but it's doing the job. I think you said it was a bit quieter on Channel Eight um, when you heard me then, but yeah, you, you're you're still coming through really well. Um, yeah, I've not been able to get on the Sunday night net for a couple of weeks with work and other bits and pieces going on, so I'm hoping to get on this Sunday. Yeah, Roger, that mate. Yeah, it's uh, 
Work is a bugger, mate, but we've all got to do it. Yeah, we, we've all missed you on the on the eight to eight. Um, last last night was fantastic. Uh, we had the chap up on the uh, Saddleworth Moor take the seat for half an hour. The lad from the North East, he'd come down for it. And uh, he was great, he was good banter, you know. Ah, that's really good. I'm, I'm really glad that there's loads of activity now on, on the band and hopefully it'll spur a lot of people on into getting the foundation licence. Indeed, mate, absolutely. Me and Mick Barry were talking about this the other night as well with these little PMRs. I mean, you've got to think about it, Lewis. You're sat in a the car there, surrounded by metal and whatever. I'm sat in my van, surrounded by metal, and we can talk to each other on, on 500 watt milliwatt PMRs that probably aren't even worth the plastic they're made of. Yeah, this is it. This is it. Like, like you say, they, they, they're just so cheap, and a lot, of, a lot of people obviously run like the higher power and stuff like that. But you know, it just shows you the flexibility of the band and, and what you can actually do with half a watt. It's, it's, yeah, it's really good, really, really good. I think on, on the last night I did, I got fifty stations, um, but I must have heard well over a hundred. It was just chaos. Yeah, absolutely, mate. It, it was it was a bit chaotic last night, to be honest. But uh, everyone got through it, like, and everyone like. I was talking to people in Stoke on Trent and stuff, and I couldn't believe it, Lewis. Couldn't believe it. Yeah, good stuff. It's all good fun. Are you uh, are you far from Hulking Cemetery there? It's literally 500 yards down the road, mate. Yeah, you want to activate that? Cemetery's on the air. That's that is a scary place, isn't it? It's actually uh, it's actually well known to be haunted, and also there's uh, a couple of the graves apparently are pirates from the back in the back in the day. And there's a couple of pirates, original pirates there, Yeah, I've heard that myself. Uh, there's a, a couple of pirate graves, and there was also a, a grave with like babies in as well. It's yeah, proper, proper scary place. I've been in there a couple of times. Been in there at night as well, and it's uh, yeah, really, really scary. Um, yeah, no, this this radio is working really well. Anyway, I'm I'm, I'm pleased with it. It's uh, absolutely cracking little one. It's um, like I say, it's dead small. Dead small, a lot smaller than like a pack of cigs or a pack of playing cards, Howard, anyway. Uh, are you still on the Cobra? I'm not on the Cobra at the moment, mate. I'm just on the boat thing at the moment. Uh, there's someone keying up over you there. I think someone's trying to come in. So, another cracking little radio there from CPS. It performed really well on both Transmit and Receive and made the trip again over to Howard effortlessly. Uh, thanks to Howard on Halkin Mountain for the chat and helping me to test the radio. And if you want to check this radio out or buy it, Links are in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, suggestions or questions, drop them in the box below. And make sure you check out the Facebook group for the Sunday Night Net. The link is in the description. And all that's left to say is 7-3. Thanks very much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.